Hi guys, James here from Plumber Parts of Coding UK. Lovely little job for us to do today. We're going to be fitting a quadrant shower tray screen. We've got the quadrant shower tray in here. This is an offset quadrant, which means one side is slightly longer than the other. Much, uh, I find I love them for doing like little jobs where you're trying to get everything in a tight space, but still have a nice size shower. So we're going to start off with it looking like this and we're gonna end with it looking like this. So follow the steps with us, and one thing I'll say about this video, read the instructions, okay? That's probably the main thing you could do in one of these. So anyway, please subscribe to us, follow us over on Instagram, and let's get on with the video. Have fun guys, I'll see you soon. Hold tight! So then guys, quadrant shower tray screens follow a pretty similar kind of install process for most of them, okay? Uh, what you want to make sure first up is all your surfaces are as clean as possible. Make sure that as much as you can that your actual walls are upright. But if they're slightly out, it doesn't matter because we do have a little bit of play in most of these shower screen installs. They actually factor in a good sort of 30 mil sometimes, something like that, of when it comes to leaning in and out. The shower screen we're fitting today is a Roman shower screen. Uh, this is going in my house. Roman shower screens are my favourite. I like fitting them. Thick glass, they actually feel like they're not going to fall apart. And also the one we're fitting today as well is a single door quadrant. So what we usually have is... Bloody God. What the hell? So our usual setup for a quadrant shower screen is you have two strips that go up the wall here and up the wall at the back just there. They usually set in a small amount from the shower tray and they're the two points at which we start, okay? Uh, what I would recommend though is you fix your first point and leave your second point so it's not fixed. Sometimes the instructions with quadrant shower trays, they tend to be a little hard to decipher. Um, and sometimes they'll say fit this rail, then fit the other rail, and then you've got somehow got to squeeze everything into those rails and it can be really, really difficult. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a read through from the instructions fully first. We're gonna count all the bits that we've got and make sure that they're all there before we even do anything else. Every shower screen is gonna have an itinerary of what's actually should be in the box. Just make sure you've got that there already. Lay everything out so it's far away from where you're working, but not where someone's gonna be able to kick it all over. Uh, and just make sure that you've got everything there first, because if you haven't, you might as well stop now and get on the phone to the suppliers. So here are our top and bottom profiles. These are gonna take the weight of our door and also guide it in the direction where we want it to go. As you can see, because it's an offset, that's our longer side and that's our shorter side. So we just pop them out of the way. Aha! The most important part of this job is here. Guys, I can't stress again how important it is to read these instructions. Read them through fully and acquaint yourself with how you're gonna do this job. Also, if you've got any problems, if you've got, I don't know, a bit sticking out the wall that's not supposed to be there, you'll know now and you'll be able to rectify anything before you actually start doing this job. Because once you get started, everything's everywhere and you really wanna be getting it kind of finished and done. Um, that's the thing. So I'm just gonna sit down here now and properly go through exactly what I need to do. Right then guys, so I've done the first little bit here, which is just putting some trim on a bit of glass that's outside. I'm not gonna show you that because that's particular to the Roman way of doing things. Um, it's very easy to do. But this is what I mean when it comes to instructions. That's quite a hard little bit there to understand. But you just got to read it and go, right, take it in, read it again and again and again and try and interpret it properly. Um, the next thing we need to do is make sure that our whole pan is level. Now, I've installed this. I know it's level. It's totally fine. Uh, it does need a little bit of a clean, so I'm just going to give this a bit of a rub down in a sec and make sure that's okay. Now, the next bit it says here is fitting the wall profiles. Now, this is always a bit that I get really worried about because guys just listen to my voice for five secs right because i tried to describe this on camera and it didn't really come out right so this is the problem often instructions will say to you fit both of the trims up the wall using spirit level and all that now do it first that's the first thing you should do now there is a problem with that after that they say now we want you to build up the whole of the door the whole of the quadrant itself and then slip it in somehow into those two bits. Now, that is really, really difficult sometimes if the wall is, is, is somehow closing in maybe, or sometimes it's even difficult if the wall is perfectly square and there's no problem whatsoever. Now remember, most of these trims have a small wing that if you have to, you can screw down the wing. Whereas in a perfect world, we've followed the instructions and actually hide our screws within the trim itself, just like this. So in the next stage, what I'm gonna do is fix the left-hand bit of trim first and leave the right-hand bit of trim not attached. 
Then I'm gonna build up my whole quadrant tray and then I'm gonna slip it all in without fixing the right hand side and make sure that I can actually get it in later on knowing that my screws are hidden. If I know that I can't do that, I'll have to use the option of screwing in into that little tongue that's on the side where they'll be visible, but you'll also have some nice chrome decorative caps to make it look good. I'm just saying this now, guys, I've come across this through experience. It can cock up the whole job sometimes uh, if you follow the instructions like that. And hey, usually we find that there's no problem and then we can go on and follow the instructions verbatim throughout the whole job. So I'm just saying that now before we continue. So I'm just gonna make the door up quickly now, just in the other room, and then I'm gonna bring it in and we're gonna just try that out first. As you can see, the instructions for the door side of things are, if anything, open to interpretation. But with any luck, they go into a little bit more detail. Right then, okay, let's just get on with it. Oh, seriously, bacon at the moment. So if we have a look here, you'll see, so we've got two screws in here. So we've got exactly the same just down there as well. Uh, and we've got two in there, and we're also we've got to just up here. So we're ready for the next bit. If you want, you can put on these little um, clamps. What they'll do, they'll clamp this bit of glass back so it doesn't move. I'd recommend you do that now. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly pop them on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into here and we're actually gonna sit it. I'll talk to you about this in a minute, okay? Because this, these two bits are so easy to do. It's just follow the instructions again, but I'll talk to you about how to do it anyway. Carefully bring it into where I'm working. And once we've got it in here, it's kind of almost going to stay here. So I just want to sit it in. Ooh, there we I'm trying to demonstrate a point to you here, guys. Now the point is this. Oh, it's, number one, it's really hot today. That is point number one. So we've got the shower screen in situ. Now, we have one fixed point here already. So if we just have a look in here, we've slotted this in, okay? Now, if we had one of these fixed on the wall, and we also had one of these fixed on the wall there, we'd have an absolute gain getting this in lined up and made sure that it was okay. But already, you know, we've thought about that and we've managed to, to go, right, we're not gonna do it like that just yet. We're gonna make sure everything's all right before we put everything up against the wall. It also means I can slip the profiling that goes into this wall here and mark it and also make sure that it's just okay. That's what I wanna do more than anything else. Uh, and then we can drill, screw these up and then really we've sort of broken the hard bit of the job. Quadrant shower screens are really difficult if you've got two doors, miles more difficult. I'd always go as an option for the one door version. I think they look better, they're a little bit more sleek, and also guys, they're easier to fit. They just are, that's how it is. So look, usually what it says in the instructions is that this bit here should already be fitted. I just think it makes it really hard for us to get this in the position where we actually want it. We've got a little bit, the wall's a tiny bit out on this, but it should be okay. So let's just pop this off quickly. I'm just gonna walk around here. We're just gonna get this all nicely lined up and sort of done so that's in. Now we've got quite a fair bit to play with there. So now we're all right on that one. So what we've done, look, as you can see, we've got our bit of trimming here. We've got a little bit of a gap to bridge there, but we're gonna push this back. We'll be able to sort this out. That should be fine. Um, so if I put a spirit level on there, that is lovely and level. Now, a lot of you are gonna say this is not how to do it. Now, I only do it like this because I've been in situations before where we've glued that profile on and we've screwed that one up. We've glued that one up there over there and glued that up and screwed it on. We've come back three or four hours later to put the actual quadrant in and we haven't been able to do it because the quadrant needs too much flex for us to push into those profiles. Uh, that's why I do it like that. Now, all I'm gonna do now is mark that up, take the profile out, and literally we will be starting from the point at which you'd normally be doing this. So on the instructions for this one here, it says your profile must be sit 15 millimeters from the edge of the shower tray. So that's what we did there. And then we got a spirit level and we put it all the way up with our spirit level to make sure that was straight and then fixed it in. That's it. What they'll usually say then is to do exactly the same on this side, fix that in and do it all like that. That's fine. If you want to do it like that, that's fine. I'm just saying from experience as a plumber, sometimes that doesn't work out quite right. And you want to find out now before you've glued that one up. Uh, and now I'm quite happy. I, I'd happily drill my screws for this 
now all the way down here to make sure that that was all right. And that is exactly what I'm going to do now. <laughs> up before we go on to the next bit. Most manufacturers instructions are going to inform you to apply a silicon bead to the back of the wall profiles. This is super super important. Do it carefully. So watch this, just get this in now. I'm just going to start that off there like so and I should be able to push, push this up to here. Right, I would use that screws but I'm weird. I always just use the ones that I bought. Uh, I'm just used to using my razor cutters. Believe me, that is not going to move anywhere now. Right, now I've done that, I'm going to pop the quadrant back in and then we're going to fix it to our uprights and then it's just a massive session of sealing with clear silicone. Just go around, seal up everything, okay? Don't leave anything to chance. That's, I'd highly recommend that. So I'm just going to get this in. Hold sack for the bad boy. Hold sack for the wrong boy. This is the bit I think most of us really hate about doing quadrant shower screens, just getting them in on your own. So if you are on your own, don't do anything stupid. Make sure that if you can't lift it, get some help in. I've done literally hundreds of these, so I know what I'm doing, or I think I do. Uh, but if you're on your own, get someone to give you a hand. Right, and so guys, I've just had five minutes to chill it out downstairs where it's not a million degrees. Uh, and basically I've got my little drill bit on now. What I do is I put just one or two screws up each side. Also, if you want to, give them a little bit of a seal as well. Next thing, I'm just going to put the grub screw in here. The grub screw in here, that's going to hold our actual beast in. What we do right with this particular bit, it's quite straightforward, let me show you. We have a small grub screw like this, a little cap plate, and then a little chrome cap to go over the top. So I'm just going to get all these on now and then that will hold this in from moving and then I can silicone up. What I'll then do is wait for my silicone to go off properly and that's the time where I'll actually hang my door on. At this point we're screwing in our little side grommet screws that actually hold our main quadrant screen up to our wall profiles. Once these are in we know we're safe, we know that the quadrant screen is not going to fall out. Depending on manufacturer, you usually put three up each side. I tend to use clear silicone for going around any of the actual shower profiles. Also, I'd recommend you actually, again, read the instructions when it comes to this. Always silicon along the areas that they say you should do in the instructions, super important. I'm not going to tell you exactly how to clamp on your wheel sets for the doors because every quadrant shower screen is roughly the same, but they could all be a little bit different and I don't want to mislead anyone. Follow the instructions. One thing I will say is that all of the weight for the shower screen door is at the top, then the bottom runners tend to have a small sprung loaded plunger so you can push the actual wheels down and then get them slotted into the tray. With this install here I had a slight technical problem with the Roman shower screen. I over tightened one of the nuts and uh, had to get a replacement runner for that. That's probably my fault more than theirs. I'm just a strong boy. Also, 99% of quadrant shower screens are gonna have a small screw so you can adjust over about nine to 10 mil the actual height of the door itself. As I said, refer to the instructions of your particular manufacturer. So there you go, guys, we're all done. We've got our quadrant shower screen in. We've siliconed up exactly where we need to. Remember what I said, follow the instructions when it comes to silicon in, because sometimes if you silicon both sides, you think, oh, I'm doing that doubly well. Sometimes actually what you're doing is you're gonna trap water underneath the actual trim. That can go a bit manky. That can come out and look a bit weird. So always silicon up the bits that the instructions tell you to. Really, my guide for installing quadrant shower screens is to follow the instructions, but also use that little method that we had there earlier on about putting one profile in and then the other one, just mocking it up first, just to make sure you're not gonna have any problems. Now, I can't say that this is the definitive guide for quadrant shower screens. Just see it as a guide, a rough guide as to how you should think you should do it, because every shower screen is made by a different manufacturer and it's totally different. That being said, if you've got any problems, comment in the comment section below. We'll see if we can help you out. Maybe the Plumber Box community can help you out, you never know. If you're in the UK and you're looking for someone to maybe install this for you, then pop over to Plumber Parts and look at Find Your Plumber. We've got loads of plumbers throughout the UK who are just waiting to go and do jobs for you there. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching today's video, guys. I hope it's helped you out. Click that like button and please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Hold tight.